Are people becoming obsolete? A giant electronic brain has started cogitating at the University of Pennsylvania. In 1946, the Army unveiled its top secret wartime project, ENIAC. It's the world's first electronic computer. It celebrated the machine's designers, John Mockley and J. Presper Eckert. What the Army didn't tell the world was that the new machine had been programmed by six women mathematicians. A week after we graduated, I saw an ad in the paper, and the ad was, of all things, looking for women with a major in mathematics. A friend of my sister's called me and said, you know how to run an adding machine. I said, yes. Yeah. She said, well, at the University of Pennsylvania, they're looking for people who can run adding machines. Why don't you go up to the Moore School and see if you can get a job there? The problem the Army had during World War II with its long and medium-range cannons was hitting a target miles away. But there was a differential calculus equation, and if you could put in one set of weather conditions for one gun and one missile, you could calculate the trajectory and you could figure out what angle to shoot the gun. It's a very complicated equation that has to be solved for each data point, for each range that you want to compute the aiming of the gun at. You. You women, you are the ones who must fill them, who can give our boys what they need. The workload was massive and unrelenting. We had big sheets and, in those days, fairly sophisticated calculators, and we did these ballistics tables. And the firing table would go to the gunner officer, and he would just look up in the table to find out at what angle he would have to set the gun so that it would fire and it would go 500 yards. But even with 100 computers working flat out, the Army fell further and further behind. 